All right, well, first of all, before I properly begin, let me say that if anyone uses VocoScreen on Linux and has a problem with the sound being choppy, we're going to see right now, I think that I fixed the problem, and I think that the way to fix it is not use Pulse Audio and use Alsa. And when I tested it out a minute ago, it seemed that everything was okay, but we'll see when this video is... Um, complete what you're looking at on the screen here above you see uh, I'm running virtual machine within uh, Debbie and Jesse 8 Debbie and 8 Jesse with some alterations here and that's that top bar uh, but here is a distro a distribution called Chromixium it's a 64-bit distribution that just came out he had the 34 Two bit for a little while and the idea it's built upon open box I, I believe and maybe someday I'll make a video just about open box which is hard um, it's not even really um, uh, it's not even really a desktop environment it's something else but you can create a desktop environment I've never been able to I end up with a gray screen and a launcher that doesn't have much uh, much in it but anyway the idea is that you can run your computer like a, a Chromebook with more options. Sort of a Chromebook that does more, that runs Linux uh, on, on top of uh, just being a Chromebook. And here you can see this is the launcher for the uh, applications and what have you. You can change the wallpaper. We'll do that right now just to, just to show. And let me see. Mm, which one was I had having, having before? I can't even find it now. I know it's in there though. Oh, there it is. Okay, and we'll apply that one. That's the original wallpaper, which is good. And this would be where the sound would cut out and in. So we'll we'll test that too. You have different applications, uh, accessories. You know, graphics. Of course, internet is going to be Chromium, basically Chrome, and you can use it like Chrome. It's the open source Chrome. Don't know which BitTorrent client that is. I, I know that transmission is often used, but I don't think that's transmission. And you have different multimedia options, including the Pro Media Player, which is pretty good, and of course YouTube. And then you have your system, and you can go down to Synaptic and get more packages. Or if you have deb files, you can install them with GW Package Installer. Um, and uh, there's a terminal and a root terminal and such. Down here are your sort of quick launch things. This is your files that you have on your computer. And you can see that's where you would put your stuff. I haven't been able to install guest editions as of yet and that's something I'm going to look around more about in fact I've never been able to install guest editions in Linux it seems like a hard thing to do I've seen things about it and I've seen that other people have had the same problem and some people have solved the problem and hopefully I can figure out how they did it anyway pretty much this is Chromixium and I think it's relatively good Based on Ubuntu 14.04, long-term stable, uh, with an open box desktop, and the look of basically a Chromebook. And now, you can get it for your 64-bit mm, computer. All right, let's turn this off. That's the hardest thing sometimes. And let me go down here, and it'll tell me that it's already open. And I'll click on it. And thank you.